all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one reaching us still on the matter well onto this one he says oluo is an assassin he called me in saudi arabia told me he was paid 12 million naira to kill me this had been said by Saeed Ibile. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, unto this, according to Punch newspaper, it was reported that in a land grabbing matter, a Lagos state resident, Shamsuddin Oluo, in a video that went viral earlier in the week, was seen being assaulted. A man, Saeed Ibile, who was labeled a land grabber by the victim well in a circulated video oluo made allegations that on july 8 while he was working at his construction site ibile accompanied by some policemen and then armed individuals arrived at the site and began firing shots indiscriminately oluo claimed that during this incident, they forcibly stripped him and then his associates recorded them and then posted the video on Facebook without taking any action against him. However, in response to these allegations, Mr. Ibile speaking to a correspondent from the punch via telephone expressed his remorse for his overreaction and then described it as an act of self-defense he said and i quote i hold nigerians an apology for overreacting and uh, stripping him Uluo, naked but it was an act of self-defense Uluo is an assassin he called me in saudi arabia and then told me he was paid 12 million naira to kill me he is a renowned hired assassin and then i will prove it to nigerians he said if i could part with 100 million naira he was ready to let me go upon my return from saudi arabia there was an actual attempt on my life i was prepared to defend myself not out of joy but because when someone threatens your life you can't afford to under react he said he additionally stated that oluo had admitted in the presence of the police to being offered the sum of 12 million naira to carry out the assassination on him however it worth nothing that punch reported that they couldn't independently verify the claim that was made by ibile meanwhile ibile went on to mention that he lodged a formal complaint with the office of the inspector general of police regarding the matter this complaint led to the arrest of oluo and the five other individuals all right my brother my sister this is the story that is actually reaching us right now a lot of things are actually happening well the only thing i think we all need to you know be prayerful about is that god should just you know give us that art and then direct our footsteps in the right manner a right art a right footstep in the right manner hmm. because we don't know who is who who is watching i always tell my people when somebody is being you no know, is being you no know, paid or some when somebody you don't know took it upon himself that the only thing he want to live by is to be taking people other people's life and that, that kind of person that happens to be in your area that person could even be your your family family member your best friend your associates hmm then you will understand that you need to be very very prayerful you don't know who is who some sort of people their job is just to take life in this same hardship we have found ourselves yet some sort of people theirs is just to make you you know sad to work against you it's only the good lord that will help us all well a lot of things though are actually being you know 
said about this statement well and in this same case majority of people have been like what exactly is going on in nigeria what exactly is our problem and somebody is even of the opinion that hmm, later you see so yoruba go do anything for money after they go they talk say Igbo to like money see how yoruba people where they abroad they disgrace themselves well well someone is saying that well the truth of the matter is you cannot say it's only the yoruba people it's as far as nigeria is concerned as far as this country is concerned in a nutshell what are we actually saying in essence this shouldn't be a time to you know put out any blame game yes somebody was of the opinion somebody just sent me this that hmm, my brother this person that is talking i know him very well let the people know what is going on yes i will not the person just want to remain anonymous well the reason why i actually made this and uh, read it out for everyone to know what is going on is for us not to put any blame game on anybody this is nigeria nothing is actually working we already know it that's why the you no know, wise ones have made it put and um, put it upon themselves that there's no going back that yoruba nation must be achieved we are seeing what is going on yes the, the hardship is everywhere yes and then as it stands either you are abroad or you are in nigeria every anywhere you are provided you are a nigerian what must have pushed you out of nigeria to say you are going to another country to you know to look for what you eat your daily bread and the rest of it it's that same thing we have been talking about that for as many people that have been saying oh it's one nigeria that will take us to the next level then now you need to understand that one nigeria is a scam yes that is why you will see people killing people to survive people kidnapping people to survive people stealing from others to survive now tell me how long are we going to remain in this some sort of people have started saying hey, the yoruba people later they'll be you know accusing the egos and they don't forget don't get it twisted that during the election the egos voted the yorubas also voted for the president we are seeing right now at the end of it all we are all suffering it together yes everybody is suffering it together so then why are we still you no know, blaming ourselves why the blame game how long do we want to continue to be blaming ourselves that's exactly what we are actually talking about right now you say hey, this one was the cause of this this one was the cause of this my brother my sister how long do you want to keep blaming ourselves i've said it times to that number the only solution is one voice if this one says i'm getting out the other tribe now there be the problem this one say no not them be the problem we can never get there but when we have that one voice a lot of people as i speak right now are in kidnappers den you will not believe it they are crying some are just being kidnapped in that same nigeria we are talking about because there is no one voice everybody is going in separate ways to support politicians and they forgot that when the politicians when they get there the only people they remember are the people around them that's why they call them party party government yes they will not remember that you even kill yourself for them you can imagine the last election a lot of people died and the rest of it where are they right now the person that want to be there st is still there the same politicians that you are saying oh they are fighting against themselves at the end of it all they will still give themselves some positions they continue to live their life then you you have done a lot of you no know, bad things for their sake just for them to be there yet you are no more but they still continue we need to be wise one voice let's agree together when we agree together things will work out things will be in a good shape either we like it or not 
it's only the good lord that will help us we're still on the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are talking about what more can we say me well let me have your own take my people on this and remember to subscribe for more updates if you're just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless